So now we've looked at how the brushes make the marks and how to use that um, for to your advantage. I'm going to do a few flowers for you. This is a number five, okay, the number five. Now these are going to be sort of daisy things, okay. I'm sure we all know what a daisy looks like. And I'm just sort of making the petal curve. And this is this shape you'll see in a moment when I put the center in. Okay. Just have a bit more. Okay, so I've literally just pulled the color out. Go to a point there. And we're going to have another one here. So I'm just using the brush, but I'm just pulling the shapes out. And you'll soon get the hang of it. Now I'm dropping more colour in there. See how it has run across because that's still wet. A bit more paint on that one. Make it a bit bigger. Let's have another one here. So you can either come in that way or you can pull it out that way. And again, if you want to, just add a bit more colour in. Now, we're going to have a few buds. So we'll just make those little marks. We'll have another daisy down here. Let's have slightly bigger petals on this one. Okay, so another few buds up here. See how I'm just letting the brush do it for me? And another one here. Right, now what I'm going to do next is I'm going to add a bit more of the alizarin crimson. So my brush is still wet but it's not dripping and I'm just dipping in there. In fact I need a little bit more water so it will travel. And I'm just letting some of the darker colour go into the centre of those leaves. Now you can see how that they are travelling at different speeds because of how dry and how much moisture there is on the petals. And we'll make those darker as well. Take your time, it's not a race. Right, they're rather pleasing. Now, I really need to let those dry because I want to put yellow centres in and then start the leaves. But I'm just going to help it along a little bit. I'm just going to gently press down and you actually get a very interesting effect. That is rather nice, I like that. So what I'm going to do, because this gives you different shapes to work with, if you are prepared to let the paint and the water do its own thing, you're going to discover and enjoy so much more from these paints rather than trying to just keep colouring in, which is what we are taught to do usually. So that's dry enough I think for me to take some nice strong cadmium yellow
and stick a nice yellow, a bit more water. Nice yellow centre. Just wants the bees to come across. There we go. Okay, now let's then do some stems and leaves. Now, you'll see now the reason for doing this. This is the sap green. Now, they're going to all come down into a sort of bunch. So I'm going to start here and do a stem and another stem. Because if you had put all your stems in and then decided to put your flowers on top, it probably wouldn't have worked because you'd be painting your flowers over your stems. Let's have that bud joining to that one. Join to that one. Don't know about that one yet. Of course they don't all have to join up. Now we're going to have some leaves. And green bit round where the bud is opening. Be something like that. Now, I've done this all with the same size brush. And you can see how I can just add more green in areas. Now that's just sap green. We will go on to mixing greens, but it's a start. I think that's rather charming. I hope you do as well. Don't worry about it. This is for your own pleasure. Now, I could go in and do some more work on those petals, but uh, I actually rather like them. All I am going to do is take some of the orange. I like them having lifted off the colour. And I'm just going to... Do, oh, that's spread a bit too much. Just put... Oh, that's OK. That's all right. just to intensify that centre. And I'm also going to just have more alizarin. Just to intensify some of those little buds. It may not be botanically correct anybody out there but I think that's rather pretty now I've splattered a bit there and that's what we do sometimes we just have a bit of fun load your paintbrush and do a little bit of splatter so there you are your first I suppose proper painting some pretty pink daisies. Now I hope you've managed to do that or something like it. Remember you're not copying me exactly, that's not the point. <clears throat> I am giving you the tools and the techniques for you to make it your own. So enjoy doing that and enjoy putting it in its little frame. <laughs>